It's chicken burrito night on the homestead. Living Traditions Homestead and uh, today uh, is a really busy day actually we're getting ready for the farmers market and I need to get dinner started so we have a, an easy evening uh, we are having uh, chicken burritos tonight um, and I'm going to show you how I make the chicken taco meat that goes into our chicken burritos it's pretty easy um, it's a crock pot meal which is perfect for us um, so just quickly I want to go over the ingredients and then as I put everything in the crock pot I'll show you um, we are going to be using whole chicken. This is one of our uh, homestead raised, pasture raised uh, chickens. We're going to be using sliced onions, sliced green pepper, uh, sliced jalapenos, some diced tomatoes. If I had some fresh, I'd be using fresh tomatoes. Uh, salt, pepper, cumin, chili powder, uh, some poultry seasoning, and some garlic. So let's get started. Okay guys, I am without my cameraman. Kevin is helping at the church. So it's just you and me in the kitchen. So the camera work may not be perfect, but we're gonna make do. Okay, first thing is we need to take our chicken out of our bag. Probably easier said than done. We're just gonna put this guy right in the crock pot. He doesn't have to be beautiful or anything. Drain out some of the juices. There he is. dump it on top. Like I said before, if I had fresh tomatoes from the garden, I would be using fresh tomatoes. And I would probably use, depending on the size, I would probably use four or five fresh tomatoes. And now I am going to slice up. I've got two onions, like one medium and one small. Otherwise, I would use one large. I'm just going to slice that up and put that on top. Thank you. 
and all around in there. Now I'm going to slice up an entire green pepper. Now, I'm putting in uh, two jalapeno peppers, but before I slice them up, I'm going to put some gloves on so that I don't get the spicy oils all over my hands and then rub them on my face or wherever. I do keep all the seeds in. If you don't like it so hot, you can take the seeds out or you can just not have any jalapenos in there at all. chicken is in. I'm just going to season the top a little bit more. I'm going to use cumin. Just going to sprinkle it liberally. And then uh, chili powder. Also sprinkling that liberally. Now after all of the chicken is done, I'm going to, well, I'm going to put this on low, uh, low heat setting uh, for about eight hours. And then um, I'm going to take all the chicken off the bone, take the bones out, take the skin out, and put all the meat back in. And then I will season it again at that time, depending on what it needs. So, uh, off it goes and we will come back later on and check in and see how it went. Well, we are starving because we've been working hard. So uh, all of, what I did is I took all of the meat off the bones and put it back in with the veggies and the juices and stuff. Um, and it is burrito time. Uh, you can see on my burrito I've got the chicken, I've got some homemade beans that I've made, salsa, cilantro, and cheese. It's just ready to go in my belly. So thanks guys for sharing this uh, cooking time with me. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I haven't done a lot of cooking uh, videos. I love to cook. I just haven't thought to bring you guys along. So maybe there will be more in the future. If you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. And if you guys could subscribe, I would appreciate it. If you have any questions or suggestions uh, for future videos, go ahead and put it in the comment section. I love interaction. We all love interaction from uh, our subscribers and our viewers. So until next time, you guys, you guys take care, okay? And God bless. Hey, thank you guys so much for stopping by the homestead today. We do truly appreciate every one of you for wanting to be part of our lives. Uh, we're now gonna be putting out five new videos every week, Monday through Friday. 
So don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. Also, don't forget to check out the videos over here on the side. Thank you so much, and we look forward to seeing you next time back on the homestead. God bless.